First thing I'm going to do guys is I'm going to put this motherboard down in here and I'm going to line it up so that it's poking through all the holes on the IO shield. And I'm going to basically just do this just so I can see where all the holes line up on the uh, bottom of the motherboard. So, okay that's where it goes. That way, okay so it's these top four holes here that we need to put the standoffs which are these little brass things in this bag here. And they screw into the bottom of the case. In or I'm going to actually pull these out here. Oh, easy to grab. So these little brass things here. So that way they keep the motherboard off of the inside of the case, and it also keeps the. It also gives you a place to screw your uh, in your uh, uh, motherboard. Now I've got to just get these in. Alright guys, so I went ahead and got the standoffs in place. Now, the case comes with this nifty little tool here. So you pretty much a little socket, like for a socket wrench almost, except where you can use a screwdriver to uh, get it into place. So that's, make sure, there it goes, plastic cap. Now the CPU, if you look on it, the CPU has a triangle on the end there. Now, that triangle has to match with the motherboards and it shows on the steel so there's the triangle right there on the uh, socket uh, holder so we gotta put that socket right there make sure it's on there properly there so we got the CPU installed next we gotta take our take our cooler and we gotta put this bracket on the back end of the uh, motherboard and then install our cooler. Now the cooler does have thermal paste already on it. Uh, I'm actually gonna just use that. I think it should be good. I, you know, I don't think it's gonna hurt using that particular thermal paste. Uh, it just saves me from opening up a. It saves me from opening up a package that I don't necessarily need to. So to install this bracket, all you do is take it, and it's got the four holes, and on the back of the motherboard, just put it right, right on top like that. Now hold it, and put the take the CPU cover, or not the CPU cover, take the uh, plastic cover off of the CPU uh, cooler. Now you put that motherboard, or, or yeah, motherboard down like that, and this off. You can there we go. It. Pick that up. And now we gotta, we gotta be careful with that. So we gotta make sure that this cooler we can it can reach the can actually reach our let's see here. I think we're gonna put it right here. Just like that. That way our cord here, our cable can reach the CPU fan socket. So now all we have to do tighten this on. Get this tightened on. I like to do it in a cross fashion. That way it actually kind of evens itself out. And I have done my fair share of switching out CPU coolers. I just never actually built a computer. So we're going to screw this all the way in. Tighten this one over here again. And tighten down the other sides. Like I said, guys, this is a learning experience for me as well, as for me showing you this kind of stuff. 
I just thought, you know, it'd be kind of a cool video. Sure. And my little brother's over here. He's supposed to be watching, and instead he's he's uh, eating Trick cereal. But that's exactly what we do when we're trying to build a computer. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> Do you ever think maybe you shouldn't be eating this? No. Not really. Okay, so it looks like you've got contact. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in this fan. Just be on the safe side so I don't forget. And we're going to stick it. Okay. okay, there we go. So now we got the fan secured on there. Just kind of, you know, it, it does good. Okay, so now we're going to put this back in there, and we're going to now tighten it to the, uh, to the case. Alright, so we're going to take our box of uh, screws here. And now we can truly start tightening this stuff down. Uh, to be honest, the first thing I actually installed on this computer was the I.O. shield. I did that off screen because those things can be a pain. At least, the, the, that's what, at least what I've heard. So, I actually didn't have a whole lot of problems with this one, but... Uh, screw, on the other hand, I'm having some problems with. Did I grab a wrong screw? Let me try uh, a different screw. I might have grabbed the wrong screw. There are several different screws in here for, uh, like, I guess they got a couple different standoffs in this thing. So, in this case, you know, I'm going to have to use a different screwdriver, I think. The problem is I only have this one. Uh, well, all standoffs are the same. So I guess maybe I'm using this. Nope, it goes into this one, so I guess. Oh, I see. It's not quite lined up right. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's much we can do about that. Kind of have to go. It looks like you might have to go at it from an angle. Let me see. And let's get one more screw. And let me see. The problem is the fan is in the way. And I can't put that. It looks like USB 1 right here. So put that right there. Plug it in there. Actually. That is the right spot, but we're going to have to manage some cables here, so... We're going to take these, and it looks like the only way to manage this is by pulling them through here. So that's going to be, it looks like the only way to actually do that. Hmm. Not a big deal because we won't be putting a DVD drive into this, but, you know, you guys got to watch out for that if you guys want to have a DVD drive. So we're going to pull this, let's see here, pull it up through the top here, plug it in. Sorry guys, I gotta make sure I can see it too. It's really hard to... Okay, it's in there. Alright. Next we have our HD audio. That pops in here. And the HD audio I think goes... If you look right here, it goes right over here. So, make sure I got it facing the right way. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Now, I do have this AC97. There's no spot for me to put this on this particular motherboard, it doesn't look like. That's okay. So, now, next we have... That's a fan. We'll have to find a connector for that. On the back end, we still have our switches. So, we'll pull these through. And I think what I'll do is, while I'm setting this up, I'll plug these in for placeholders, and then I'll actually have to figure out how these actually attach later on, because these right here are very confusing, because here's the front panel pins right here, and I remember that some of these actually have to be facing upside down. I don't remember exactly which ones, so I'm just going to plug these in as kind of placeholder and then I'm going to actually have to look that up because you know frankly I forgot so plug those in for that well oh. actually might be Tiny little connectors, guys, I swear. You can't do it. <laughs> you can do it, Why? I don't know what you're doing. There we go. All right. So that, those are going to be our placeholders. That's just, like I said, that's just for for now. I'm, that's not where they're going to be permanently. Uh, it may look like a mess. Hopefully, we can actually manage this down a little bit. You know, I'll probably do some cable management a little bit later to uh, kind of straighten some of this out because this is really kind of ridiculous. And I also have a couple of fans that I need to plug in. Okay, so now we got that plugged in. The next thing I want to plug in, power supply. You think I would learn from my Optiplex experience to go with a modular power supply? But I haven't learned and this is this is gonna have to do. So I did have a couple of screws. Like I said, I pulled this out of my test computer. Well, not really a test computer. It was actually just another Optiplex. And put that right down there in the bottom. I don't know. My cameraman's kind of zoned off right now. So I don't know if it's pointing down at the uh, power supply or no, not, but I hope too. it is. It's pointing down. Okay, well, you're miss. I'm you're looking at my phone. My phone's more important than I am. It is. <laughs> it's okay, Wyatt. You're still number two. Oh, I'm number two. I'm number, number two. One. Yay. I'm number one. Okay, so. I'm known Sarah for first. Okay, I see. Uh, no, my phone's not. number one. You're number three. You've just known it for nine years. Let me make sure that's actually... Alright, so I think I had it upside down and I flipped it over. I think the fan's supposed to be on bottom. Uh, which is kind of weird because screw holes don't really line up either way. And normally you can use the screw holes as your guide. But for whatever reason, there's one that's kind of bent either way. So, I just had a look at how the fans are set up and how the case is set up. And so, this is supposed to bring in cool air up into the power supply to keep it cool. So, that's how that works. Um, now, we got this mess of cables to deal with. So, what I'm going to do here, just I'm going to stick these through the slots here at the bottom as much as I can. And we're going to try to manage this as well as we can. But I have a feeling that's not going to be very good. Because I, I, I'm, you know, that's why I like cases that aren't very flashy. Because my cable management sucks. It sucks so bad. You would hate to see some of my builds. Yeah. Well... Okay, yeah, one build. I got one build aside from my Optiplex, and that's a white computer 
that I pretty much just put a new power supply in and re reinstalled the motherboard. So that's my whole experience on this, guys. Just, just saying. I might do a video over that computer. It is a AMD FX6300 processor, a uh, GTX 750 SC, not the TI, and it's basically just a build for my brother that he wanted basically his computer transplant and ended into there. So I pretty much fixed that computer up for... Oh, you're talking about 80s. Yes, I'm talking about 80s. I just fixed it up for him to use and he has yet to use it, so... Not really. Not a single time. You ought to it. So, anyway, let's see here. Are you going to finish plugging through here? I'm going to get this done, guys, and then we'll come back. All right, guys, so we're back, and I got all the cables through the hole here. Um, so it's all on the back side of the panel. Next thing we need to do is move this out of the way. Like I said, I got to find a... You get the ramp for that. And we're going to take our ramp. We're going to go ahead and insert our ramp, I think. That way, thing? because it's kind of hard to get up in there. And I don't want to forget about it because I'm the kind of guy that would forget. So we're going to take our ramp and just kind of insert it right there. And ooh, I hope we can fit the other ramp stick in there. Able to fit it, but it's gonna be tight getting it in there. I gotta do some contortionist acts here just to. All right, so we got our RAM installed. Okay, so the CPU cord of the four pin goes right up here, and the 24 pin goes right here. So either way we look at this, we're gonna have a cord going up here so there's not much we can do about that but we're going to go ahead and get those plugged in so we can say we got them done okay i need the 24 pin and i need the 4 pin which i'm actually not seeing don't tell me i don't have a 4 pin Seated cable Okay, so I might not have a four pin, guys. That's odd. And that's for the motherboard, isn't it? So there's the 24 pin. We got that in. And I gotta look through here because there's gotta be a four pin somewhere. We got our Molex. What's this two? This is a CPU. We got an eight pin CPU cord. Okay. Does this split apart? Oh, it might split apart. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, it splits apart somehow. No, it doesn't. Never mind, it doesn't. It just looked like it did. Yeah, it might. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot. Because that's something I did not expect. What? Will that actually accept a floor pan? will. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, this is all learning experience. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I'm having fun doing it. Okay. And I'll see you guys next time.